Chairman McKeon, I understand the reasoning behind wanting to put forth this resolution. We had actually a very informative uh, Judiciary Committee just on Thursday in which uh, counsel came on behalf of um, the committee to answer some questions. Now, endorsing this resolution gives me grave concern that we're setting a precedent for any settlement, second-guessing any sort of litigation matter that our Attorney General's office handles, and in doing so that we're potentially improperly attempting to influence a court as legislators to find in some sort of fashion on an active matter that we have not been privy to for approximately 10 years. Now, when the attorney came before our committee last week, we got to ask certain questions regarding the history of what's gone on here, the fact that this is a litigation in which a settlement offer was proffered under the Corzine administration for less cash up front than the $225 million that has been agreed to now. There are certain components of the settlement that I don't think have been properly conveyed with respect to this is a cash payment, but yet ExxonMobil still remains liable for all the cleanup, all of the remediation, all of the things that we would want to see, that in putting forth the settlement, there are a lot of nuances that we as legislators have not been part and parcel of. There are precedents that have been set with other types of litigations within the state of New Jersey that have gone fully to trial and have never gone in our favor. We have never once won a case similar to this. The fact that this could go on for another 10 years based upon what our council specifically provided to us during that committee meeting, and we could potentially see zero dollars at the end of a 10-year period, additional 10-year period. So there are a lot of items that give me concern, but mostly, is this something we are now going to do for every litigation matter that comes through the state? And if so, is it appropriate? I think we as legislators have had precedent, including with somebody who had once represented District 39, where I come from, being scolded by courts for doing just this. So I would just ask the sponsor to think about some of the items that we spoke about during our Judiciary Committee the other day, being an attorney, understanding the intricacies of a settlement negotiation, understanding that for the ExxonMobil Valdez case, which was litigated, in which they did manage to get a $5 billion judgment for punitive damages, that after more than a decade of litigating, it got reversed, and the state of Alaska only received $500 million in damages. You know, looking at the totality of what we know, I just ask everybody to stay, take a step back, and before you vote in favor of this, think about the precedent we're setting. Thank you.